So considering the amount of stupidly big projects I've done, I'm surprised that this is my storage room. And it's gotten a little bit out of hand. So today I'm going to get rid of this and use this instead. Stupid joke, that was not worth it at all. Okay, so I've actually found this storage system from iCraft MC that even lets you sort non-stackable items like shulkers, tools, totems, and I'm making it over 200 blocks long. So that's like 4 million items. <sighs> all right, let's get started. This water is gonna prove to be difficult. And this is definitely not enough space, but it's a start. Anyway, moving on to the next step, which is collecting materials like these chests, for example. Probably not gonna scratch the surface with this many, but... And I'm also gonna need lots of iron from the iron farm for some hoppers. And I'll be trying to connect this to the storage system later on, so that should be interesting. I never fail to give myself too much to do in one video. This will probably not be enough yet again, but... I don't want to think about it. And for the non-stackable items like pickaxes and buckets, I need allays. Like lots of them. And I have two. Alright guys, let's get a move on. You want to get hit by a skeleton or something? Come on. Quick! Quickly! What the- Grab a music disc, grab a diamond, make a quick jukebox and whoa don't want to get copyrighted now do we anyway after duplicating and wrangling these guys for 20 minutes we ended up with this okay so yeah we've got lots of allays but that's because you need one for each item you want to sort now i need some other bits and bobs like lots of redstone <laughs> Forgot I didn't have my elytra on. Wow, I just, I really need to stop messing with those guys. <laughs> anyway, got the redstone because I need to make torches, repeaters, comparators. I need quartz. All right, I think I've collected enough. I've got a full inventory's worth. And if that's not enough, well then what else is new? So first step is to put down an input chest. So this is where we input items, put in items. And then they get dispensed and taken all the way down there and much further than that and all the way back. Maybe some stairs for decoration like that. And then I also need to dig out some space here in the back. I hope this doesn't interfere with any of my other builds. I can, I can hear villagers already, so... So I think I've got it now. If I enter this chest, put uh, these slabs, it should start dispensing them. Yep. All right. Well, we're good. Yep. Okay. You can stop. You can, you can, st you can, I need to build this area up, place some water there and then kelp it up. When I destroy the kelp, we should just float up. There we go. Yep. That's how the item should work as well. So if I place one of these right here, it should it right up. And so after I place these chests right here, this is the first module. It's going to be five by five every time. And then there's a gap and then another five by five and then a gap and then another five by five. And then again, the items come up through the water stream on top of there and then go through hoppers into the chest. And so each one of these columns is one item. So one there, one there, one there. And that means there is five double chests for each and every item I decide to store. So I hope I don't have any storage issues after this. That's kind of the goal. First of all, I need to do all the Hoppers, put one in each chest. And this is where the build gets bulky. So let's let's see how we go. So we need some blocks here, 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 here as well. And we put some repeaters here. And those guys right there are facing into these torches. Now we grab the comparators, face them outwards, redstone this up, and then face the hoppers into the comparators. And how does that work? I don't no. However, I am going to show you the magic of this working in real time. So I need some blue eyes, which I have six of. Pop it right there. Put a sign right there. Pop some water right here. And now I need some filler items, which I need a lot of because every one of these hoppers has to have them. And what I have a lot of, in fact, much more than I need is 
wool. One, two, three, four. And I'll start off with some wooden blocks. What, what are you doing here? Get out. And now next to this green carpet, I need to put these in. It should go down to number two. Just like that. Put the planks in there, the stairs in there, the slabs in there, and the fences in there. And then I pop them all into here. And if I get up here quickly, we should see them get picked up by each hopper. Bada bing, bada boom. And they're all gonna be down here in these bottom chests. And that is almost 100,000 items in this area alone. And now to duplicate it over 30 times. And then the LA system as well. All right, I'm gonna get to work. So this is how big the sorting system is at the back area. And that means I need to clear all of that out. And all of that <laughs> is this. <laughs> It'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it. Alright, so I've finished all the modules on the left that I can, up to the wall, of course. But now let's get a move on down here. Oh, okay. Let's get up. And the beacon doesn't reach either. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll mine up this area here on the right, and then I'll move the beacon down there. So, let's go... Boom! That looks good. Good. Totally didn't take an hour, and that's not even what I actually wanted to do. Need to grab this thing, put it down somewhere here. I get attacked by phantoms. Ah, oh, Mike. Uh, sometimes I really love this game. <laughs> now I can finally mine all of this out. Voila! Left side mined out. Anyway, only thing left to do on this side is to place down all the machinery at the back. So let's get a move on. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this whole left side is complete. The items are all in these hoppers already sorted out. They're being dispensed up into the tunnel and getting transported to the appropriate chest. Like this is just, it's so cool. And I am going to have to come up with something later on to cover this up because, well, I'm not going to just leave it like that. But I've also marked out a lot of these with the exact items that are in there. However, I've decided to leave the rest of the chest unmarked for the decoration phase later in the video when we bring this place to life with like an orange ceiling and that's all I have right now. <laughs> This is where it becomes a little interesting because I need to turn this water tunnel 90 degrees. So the first thing to do is to mine out this area here and you've probably seen that about 9.3 times already. So boom, luckily that one didn't take too long because there actually wasn't any water there, surprisingly. I'll just put these chests down first and then I'll try and build the water tunnel. And I think I'll use packed ice maybe so that it stays slippery and the items just slip. Slip. Now clear the ceiling up a little bit. Put a sign there. Get rid of this. The water's gonna bring the items down here. Have another water bucket start right here and come this way. All right, now let me grab my hoppers and see if this works the way I want it to. And now if I place these into the input chest, bang. There you go, look at that. Getting loaded right into this chest. So I guess that means the whole system, up until this point, is a success. Let's see if I can actually build the whole thing without any mistakes, maybe. I doubt that very much. Here we huh? This is gonna take a while. And 
There we go. This is the storage room. It's got thousands of chests. All the items are already in here. I just need to mark them out. A couple of things left to do though. We need to build the junk chest area. And in these two, we build the LA sorter for the non-stackables like shulker boxes, totems, buckets of water and lava, etc. Then we connect some farms to the system like the iron farm and the potato and carrot farm. And then I need to finally decorate this whole thing. So I'll start with the iron farm. I have no idea where I am right now. Am I going to dig into somewhere? Hurry up. Okay, well, the good news is this right here is the right level. Um, block this off and then get rid of this staircase. We're going to need a soul sand elevator to up there, just like in the actual system. Hang on. Need a dropper. There's the redstone stuff. Everything's unmarked right now and it sucks. Let's just do the dropper right there. Put the hopper into there and into there. And then this should all go into the dropper. If I remember correctly, I think we have a... Oh, wait, no. Ah! How do I do this? The dropper needs to be si sideways or something. We get some redstone going out which way? Where does it go? Oh, this ain't it, chief. Yep, there we go. All right, it works, except now there's too many. Just stop. Okay, you need to get some water going this way and then some ice and the sign and then another water bucket right here. So it'll just keep going this way. And then I take that water all the way through this tunnel to the spot where the elevator needs to go, which is right here. We'll have the items going through this hallway here, and now I just need to figure out where to actually insert them. I just need to find the iron. There it is. So the items will come through the hallway, go on top of this, and get inserted into the system, and then iron will get picked up, and then so will the potatoes and carrots. Let's get a move on. Oh, wow. Actually dug into the exact iron hopper, so we need to just go a couple more this way. Bang. Okay, so I've got the whole tunnel complete and the item should come around here and just drop right into the system. So let's activate it and see it in... Uh, <laughs> that piece of iron absolutely flew. And they are indeed flowing right below me and I haven't actually done a poppy chest, so those are gonna just end up somewhere stupid. That is perfect. So now the iron that is generated at the farm will just get dispensed from here into the water stream and go directly into the system. That is so cool. I have no idea how I'm gonna hide this whole water stream in the outside world here. Like this just... <laughs> I, suppose, I have to build like a whole mountain or something. What? Need to sort out the crop farm as well. Gonna try and connect it straight to the iron tunnel. They're all flying like crazy. Some of them are literally going back into the farm. Connect the potatoes from upstairs straight into the dropper machine and... Bada bing, bada boom. And here they come through the water stream right into the potato chest. Whoa! And now I need to do the final parts that will make this a fully functioning sorted sortage system. Wow, that's a new one. Storage system, and that means making this a junk chest module by doing none other than some complicated redstone. Now, if you think this looks like a headache, you'd be correct. It was. However, we should now have a working converter where if I place a non-stackable item, it should end up in this dropper right here. And if I put some stackable items, they won't end up there because they will be taken into these junk chests right here. But now the Hadache continues as I have to do the <laughs> LA sorter. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, so first I build an LA trapper. Get an LA in there. Give it the correct item I want it to sort like a totem. And dispense the LA up into the system. Nice. nice. There's the second, third, fourth. Get up there. Fifth, sixth, seventh. That's eight, nine, and ten. They're all in there. I just forgot to record it. I, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Need to build the very last junk chest for the non-stackable items. Activate the hopper clock one last time. And that should be a fully functioning storage system. Although it still looks pretty ugly. So let's uh, finally decorate this place. Oh, what's that? You're sick of the montages. You just want to see the storage system in action? Well then. Oh, wait. This is not... Finished? All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> 10 out of 10 acting, here we go. There we go, that's more like it. I've got every chest and assigned item, but if I were to show you every single one of them, we'd be here for a while. Let's fill up the chest with a bunch of random items and watch them get sorted in the water stream. This is so sick. Oh, we've got a saddle. Okay, I saw a saddle, hang on. Let's take a look and see if it arrives. I just heard an LA pick something up. Yep. We've got a bunch of crimson stem. All right. I'm just flying <gasps> in and out like it's nothing. The crimson stem, I think, is all the way down the end. Right here. 
Boom, being loaded right in. Oh man. Well, it's all working. I can pretty much just break all of these chests, put all this stuff to get sorted. But there is the perfectly working storage system for my stupid big projects, including having to build whole new terrain on rivers to cover up said storage system. That's another like three seconds of the video. That's going to take me three hours. But nevertheless, here we are. It doesn't look amazing, but luckily the dark oak trees cover it all up. I mean, it went from this to this, so that's great. 